This is a short story about a gang of street robbers approved by the Melbourne City Council, Melbourne Bike Police. They penalize people for terrible crimes like not wearing a helmet on their bicycle or even, in my case, not wearing a helmet on a unicycle, which is not a bicycle, not even according to Victorian law. As I'm currently waiting for two court hearings for earlier fines for not wearing a bicycle helmet on a unicycle, I looked up the definition in the Victorian Road Code. And it defines a bicycle as a vehicle with two or more wheels, which is quite different from a unicycle. Knowing the law better than those policemen didn't prevent them from going through the process of harassment, taking my details, sending a fine out and thus producing a quite significant amount of cost for all the taxpayers, even though I tried to give them the option to just let me go. Um, I checked out the legal situation and uh, according to the Victorian Road Safety Road Rules, uh, I'm not obliged on a unicycle to wear a helmet. So I consider this as uh, enforcement of a non-existent law and I rather feel harassed by this behavior, especially as I informed you about the fact that there is no legal grounds for this ticket. Um, the ticket has been contested in court and the, the legal situation is pretty uh, simple. It's just a bicycle, it's a vehicle with at least two wheels. As you can see, this is one wheel. So. Um, I would kindly ask you to refrain from the idea to give me a ticket, otherwise I will uh, be tempted to, uh, to go through the process of uh, complaining about your behavior that you enforce a law that doesn't exist. Sir, I, um, I, with the infringement notice I gave you, I attached a copy of the uh, Victorian legal definition of a bicycle. Did you receive that in the post? I, I received this in the, in the post and it's an outdated version. It's a version of 1999. The current version is of 2009. And the definition that you mark there is entirely different. It uh, explicitly excludes unicycles. So uh, please let me repeat my... Do you have uh, a copy of that on your desk, sir? Uh, unfortunately, I don't. Um, oh, sir, good, sir. Look, we'll let the uh, magistrate decide on that matter. My partner wants to speak to you about riding your unicycle today. Yes. If, if that's okay with you, may we proceed with that matter and we'll let the magistrate uh, yes. report the other one? Wonderful. Yes. Thank I you. Uh, I've been in touch with my, my letters, my name from the Melbourne Bicycle Patrol. Yep. I thought I'd do the reason I'm speaking to you. I realise that you have a matter of court in regards to that. Do you have any idea on you at all? Uh, I do have an idea on me, but uh, as mentioned, I, 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 would, uh, I would consider any proceeding uh, a part of harassment and I'm going to complain about this matter. Well, that's your right, sir. As I said, I just need to see some ID. Okay, then let's proceed. So we've observed you uh, committing the offence of riding a unicycle without a helmet. So to uh, prevent the commission of the offence and establish some identification, we just need to see some photo ID. Um, it's not an offence. I, as I mentioned, there is no uh, code, no section in the Victorian Road Code that makes this an offence. And it doesn't become one if you just say so. The legal text is different. I noticed that you could stop for the stationary tram this time. So that's fantastic. That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much for doing that. Um, even that is not an offence con uh, considering the legal situation. Okay. I had enough time to uh, inform myself well Good. about the situation because um, I consider myself uh, a very community oriented person and I'd like to uh, get several free trouble free through my life. and. Um, as mentioned, this is not an offence, and I um, I will put, uh, most likely see my legal ways in, in order how I can complain about this behaviour. Can I see your current address? Uh, my front the key. Three o five seven.
Um, I received penalty notice in the mail before, yeah. Okay, so yeah, same process with that one, so you may receive that in the mail. You can contest it, fill out the details in the back, it's almost also payment plans and the license back. Um, this is like blackmailing. The law doesn't exist and no, being sent a penalty notice on the basis of a non-existent law means you're asking me for money with no good reason. This is what my definition of blackmailing, but um, okay. I, I'm really at my tar nearly at my target, so to make your life a little bit easier, I'm going to push my unit Thank side you. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, officers. Soon I will receive a ticket similar to this one, using the Orwellian newspeak of accusing me not to wear a bicycle helmet on a unicycle. I've seen lately many examples of abuse of power by people sporting the Victorian police uniform. It seems like the police more and more gets into a situation where they represent interests but no longer the written word of the law. If police starts acting against civilians like they did in a very brutal manner during the Occupy Melbourne protests, citizens lose their trust in the institution of the police. Melbourne Bike Patrol fighting bike crime.